Hey YouTube, we are back to uh, disassemble this Samsung Galaxy S4. You can see there's got a crack on the screen. The glass is cracked. This will be a full teardown and uh, liquid optical clear adhesive replacement. So that will be putting in a new uh, bezel as well while we're at it to make sure this thing looks brand new when we're finished with it. You can see that it uh, still has all the tape and everything on it. So just it's just this exterior portion here. It's got some dings and nicks on this one. So we're going to make it look shiny and new. We have a new piece of glass that we're going to be using on our LCD once we remove it. Uh, you can see that it's got some cracks here throughout the uh, actual phone itself. So this just being the disassembly video, we're just going to use a couple of tools here. I like a dental pick uh, to help pry up some cables. We'll be using a plastic opening tool. You can use a razor blade or a, a pick as well. And we'll need a small Phillips screwdriver uh, once we get into the phone. We're going to go ahead and just remove the back off the phone. Make sure that you remove your SIM card as well as your uh, SD card. Go ahead and just pop the battery out here. We'll need to undo all of the silver screws across the back here. You can see them all along the outside of the phone, all the way around. We're going to go ahead and just disassemble and take these out. Let's take me a few seconds to do so. Halfway there, just a few more screws to go. All right, all the screws have been removed from the back of the phone. We'll go ahead and just put these in a safe place. I just use a little uh, magnet mat that I have. Works great, so I suggest using one. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the uh, bottom speaker, the loudspeaker port here. Uh, sometimes they're easy to pull out, sometimes they're a little bit trickier. There's a couple of clips just along the back side here. Um, if you try to pull up just a little bit, uh, it'll definitely be easier to pull out. Um, it doesn't want to come out. This one's going to be a little bit tricky. There's two little clips, uh, one just right here and then one on the exact same side on the opposite side of the phone. It's going to take me a few seconds to go ahead and just pop it out. A little bit of force. Uh, we want to be... Forceful, not um, an extreme amount, so we're going to be breaking plastic. We definitely want to keep this phone in great shape so we can reassemble it. See, I almost popped it out there. There we go. Go ahead and just set that aside. That'll be the first portion of the plastic we're going to remove. The next portion we're going to remove is the outside bezel. So we're going to go ahead and just stick our plastic pry tool in and go down the side of the phone. You'll see it unclip and kind of unsnap as you move your tool around the phone. All right, making some pretty good progress here. Seems like the top portion is always a little bit trickier. Once we get uh, across the top here, this will go ahead and just pull off for us. All right, there is the second port. Well, maybe not. There we go. That's the second portion of the phone. And we have all of the components now exposed for us to go ahead and start removing. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is remove the two uh, little wire antenna connectors here on both sides. Go ahead and just set that aside. You want to be a little bit careful with those and pry from uh, underneath them to get them to pop off. We have a little clip here. And this is glued down, a little bit of sticky tape. We're going to pull that back. That's for the home button. This longer uh, cable connector here is to the bottom charging port. We're going to just kind of set back the home back and menu button. We're just going to go ahead and gently pull this cable upwards. It does have adhesive on the back side of it, so you don't want to be forceful with it. Just use a tool. Uh, I'll just use either a dental pick and put it in sideways and kind of uh, leverage it between and get the, the glue to pull up. If you need to use a sharp tool, make sure you're very gentle and don't force it through. I'm always using the blunt side of the dental pick 
So go ahead and pull that forward. The next thing we need to do is untake this uh, little charging port uh, connector off. Just pull up on one side of it. It'll go ahead and just pop off for us. We can continue to remove the uh, bottom charging port board here. Uh, it does have some flexible points in it, so you can see they're starting to flex right here. I'm having a little bit of a hard time starting on this other side, uh, so we're just going to start from the opposite side and see if we can make a little bit better uh, headway. So just putting my dental pick in and then kind of wiggling it um, pointy side down and then blunt side up. Now being nice and careful as we do this, we definitely want it to be able to charge when we're finished. This does have a decent amount of adhesive behind it to get it stuck down this much. These are it's one of the trickier ones that I've had to do. Now you can use your plastic opening tool here as well. You don't have to have a dental pick. Uh, you can use a, uh, a small flat screwdriver and do the same thing to stick it in and kind of wiggle it back and forth to get the adhesive to pull up for us. See that we're starting to make some better progress here and it should just pop off in just a second for us. Alright, there we go. We got an, went ahead and removed that. Let's go ahead and flatten it back out. There's one black screw right here we're going to remove. That'll take the logic board uh, out for us. The next thing we're going to need to undo is all the connectors holding the logic board down. We have a, an LCD connector just right here. We'll go ahead and just pop that up. We have uh, the 3.5mm jack connector. We have a front facing camera connector. It's getting a little bit wiggly for us. It should just want to come out. There we go. Went ahead and removed the logic board out of the phone. Now the next things that we can go ahead and start to do is go ahead and take out the three and a half millimeter jack here. I just have one silver screw holding it down. Now if you're not replacing the frame, you can leave all these remaining components in um, as it's not uh, required to remove them. But since I'm changing the frame on this phone, I'm going to go ahead and take all of these out as well as any additional pieces of the phone that need to be removed. Take out our little vibrator module here. Stick my dental pick underneath and pry upwards. And it does have a little bit of adhesive holding down the uh, two connecting ports off the ribbon cable off of it, so make sure you're gentle as you remove it. There's a little clip that uh, holds the front facing camera in. Normally, if you just give it a little bit of a tug, it'll come off with the camera. There's the clip. We'll just go ahead and remove the proximity sensor earpiece portion. And if you just stick your tool in right here and kind of pull upwards, uh, this earpiece speaker will come out for us as well. All right. Now we're just going to take our remaining back cover here and just go ahead and double check with all the pieces that are still um, in the old device that need to go on the new device. So just looking to see what's still out of place. It looks like there's a little uh, earpiece speaker cover um, that needs to go on the back here. So let's see if we can uh, remove that here just real quick. Now it's a very thin film, so we're going to be very gentle as we pry it up. We want to make sure we keep the adhesive on it. I don't want it to add more to kind of glue it back down. So I'm just taking my dental pick and sliding it down the side. Then I'll use my fingers to go ahead and just pull it out nice and gently. And I'm going to go ahead and just already stick this on the new housing. If I can get it to kind of stick in there for us. Go ahead and tap it down with my dental pick. All right, and we're looking good. The next step is going to be removing the glass off the front of the device. 
So if you want to go ahead and click the button in the bottom right hand to follow that video. If you found this helpful, go ahead and like the video. Thanks for watching as always.